obviously a big week. Uh, two opponents in the West, a uh, chance to uh, try to get two wins here uh, over LSU. Uh, just played them a couple of weeks ago. Obviously, they'll be very familiar with us, as we will with them. Uh, both teams, I'm sure, will make adjustments based on what happened in the last game. So uh, we're uh, in the process of getting prepared for that. and should be an exciting game. And then on Saturday, uh, going down the road and playing Auburn, another opponent in the West, and obviously a huge game in terms of uh, the interstate robbery. And I'm looking forward to experiencing uh, what I've heard uh, for several months. Uh, we'll be in a, a great atmosphere in their building, and obviously a very highly contested game. So uh, our team is, is uh, just looking forward to getting back on the court and preparing uh, for another opportunity to play. Questions for Coach? Coach, so far this season, especially in SEC play, you've done a real good job limiting opponents' field goal percentage. Have you been pretty pleased with how the defense has played, even when the offense isn't quite, you know, it's been a little Yeah, I think our defense has given us chances in every game that we've played. You know, and I think that's been one thing that's been consistent uh, throughout SEC play. And, and uh, you know, I, I think uh, every game brings different challenges, and our guys have met the challenge up to this point. You know, we, we have to understand, again, who we are and, and uh, that if we continue to do that, if we can we can defend, and if we uh, can get consistent in terms of rebounding, that it gives us a chance at least every night. What do you think has been the key to the defense playing as well as it has? Is it just effort, or is it more strategic? Uh, you know, I think it's a combination of things. Sometimes you know other teams are missing, you know, uh, but I do think our guys are giving good effort. I think uh, we understand. The uh, intensity that we have to play with to have a chance against the competition that we're playing against every night. We're, we've, it's a process, I think, where uh, hopefully we understand that, that we've got to bring that energy and effort every night. And if you do that, at least you, you know, you're going to have an opportunity. And that, that's all we can. That's all we can look for. I, I couldn't sit here and tell you we've got anything figured out because we don't. Uh, every game brings different challenges, and we just got to be prepared for that challenge on a given day. And finally, what do you take much from what you were able to do to them at Baton Rouge defensively? Do you think that will carry over much one game to the other? Well, I'm sure there will be a lot of adjustments that they'll make based on how we guarded them there and things that we'll do differently based on uh, you know, having a, a chance to be familiar with what they want to do against us. So uh, do I think it will be some bearing? Yes, but I, I think this game will, will have a completely different feel uh, than what we saw two weeks ago. So we've got to be prepared for that. I think Chris Hines is, is uh, beginning to figure out what his role is on our team and what we need from him. I thought uh, this past week against Tennessee and uh, this weekend against uh, Mississippi State, I thought he brought great energy to our team. And a lot of the things that he does aren't necessarily things that show up on the stat sheet. You know, when, you, when you look at his energy, his physicality, uh, the ability to guard several different positions, uh, I think he's, he's done, a, done a very good job. And, and then he's finding his niche in terms of where he can be effective on the other end of the floor for us. And, uh, I think it's, uh, it's been a, a great boost to our team, very, very much needed in terms of our, our limitations in the front court. So, uh, you know, I think he is this just, uh, you know, when you look at it, he's almost like a freshman because it's his first year of really playing major college basketball, even though he's an older guy. Uh, and uh, hopefully he's figured some things out and, and will continue to bring the energy that he's brought. It just seems like uh, Tony Mitchell's been getting a little more visible um, for the team than since now his play started. Can you just talk about uh, what his biggest contribution is uh, for you and uh, how you've seen him improve in his first year? Yeah, well, I think Tony's had a great freshman year, you know, and obviously there are a lot of very good freshmen in, the, in this league and maybe overshadowed somewhat because of what some of the other freshmen are doing. But, uh, you know, he, uh, prior to missing a couple of games uh, with Mono, I thought, was really establishing himself and, and playing well. I think since he's been back, he's kind of picked up where he's, where he's left off. And I think with every game, gets a better feel for what he can and can't do and, and what's needed. Uh, 
Uh, you know, I think Tony's got a, a bright future. I think uh, you know he's a guy with his size and athleticism and, and what he can bring you, whether it be uh, offensively with his slashing ability or on the defensive end with his ability to, to, to make hustle plays and rebound and go in a couple of different positions. I think he's got a very, very bright, bright future ahead of him. consistently uh, defend the three-point line. I thought we did a very good job uh, the other, this, this weekend against Mississippi State of, of trying to limit their opportunities. Uh, I think that'll be critical for us uh, as, we, as we head up, as we go forward. I think uh, just uh, taking away uh, easy baskets. Uh, you look at the Mississippi State game, uh, we were able to, to get a lead uh, because we had some success offensively. And uh, they went on a run there. Cut that lead uh, early in the game, and then we went on an offensive lull to close the half out. Uh, and they got some transition baskets on us. We got up 12 in the second half, and they went on a run on a 14-0 run, you know, against us because of some things that we didn't do on the defensive end. So I think overall, we just have to get more consistent, uh, just in terms of understanding that we can't allow what happens on the offensive end to affect our effort and, and focus on the defensive end. And then we've got to continue to, to focus on, on rebounding the basketball and not giving up second shot, second shots and second chance opportunities. Several of the Mississippi State guys said that you guys were successful in speeding them up with what they would want to do. Is that just the press, or do you think it was a matter of the pressure you were getting on in the half court as well? I think it was both. I, I thought our guys did a good job of, of uh, understanding what what we had to do, what we had to try to take away from them in terms of their ability to shoot the three. So I, I thought uh, Grass did a good job of that. Coach, I know it hasn't been very long since you played LSU. Have they made any substantial changes in what they're doing? Uh, not, not that I've seen up to this point. I, I just started uh, watching them uh, actually this morning. Uh, uh, I think uh, maybe a little different uh, lineup maybe one or two lineup changes that they've made. Uh, but outside of that, I really haven't seen enough of, of their more recent games to really tell you that, that there's a lot of changes. Obviously, we've got a couple of days here to try to figure out uh, maybe some, some things that they do differently, some things that we can try to change based on our last time we played them. He's a, I think he's, he's one of the better competitors in college basketball. I've uh, really been a fan of his since his freshman year, my last year at, at, uh, at Florida. I think he's a guy that brings great energy and a great competitive spirit to the game. And uh, you know, I think that's what you've seen out of him over the last couple of weeks is he's really upped his productivity to try to give his team a chance to win. Uh, I think he uh, may have had a 38-point game somewhere in between that between the last time we played them. And I think he top three or four in the league in scoring, top two or three in the league in rebounding right now. So he's a great player, uh, can hurt you in a, a lot of different ways. He's really expanded his game to where he's shooting threes and obviously strong and physical on the inside. So he poses a problem uh, in a lot of different areas uh, uh, on the offensive end and then defensively. Uh, he's a veteran. You know, he's been a, around the game for five years. And, he makes plays that, that just from uh, anticipation uh, that can uh, that can be very disruptive. So I think obviously he's the leader of their team, and, and uh, I'm sure he'll he'll uh, he'll be ready to go. Great competitor. Coach, I guess just one more thing. How how tough a sell was it from an effort and intensity standpoint to get these guys to play defense the way you wanted? Because it does seem like a little more now than maybe earlier in the year. Uh, well, I, I think. Um, like I told you, you know, when we started, and I'll continue to say it every every uh, every week is is we just trying to get better with every game. I think with every every practice, every game, the guys are understanding 
uh, what the demands are and what's, what's required. And uh, I think with every success we have, uh, I think it, it just solidifies in their minds why we do what we do and, and their learning. I think uh, the thing I've been impressed with with our guys is, is either through wins or through losses, um, they, they, main, they maintain that willingness to, to get better, to want to wanna learn and want to grow. And sometimes it's been, you know, uh, through, you know, pushing and prodding to, to force it. But other times it's been where they understand, hey, listen, we, we've got we've to change our, the, the mindset and mentality in terms of how we approach what we do. So it's a work in progress, you know, and, and I understand, you know, what, where you're trying to go. But the, the, the truth of the matter is we could come out this week and not play well defensively. So... We have nothing figured out. I think the thing that we've got to do is try to give ourselves a chance every night to win, and that starts on the defensive end.